hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to learn about json in golang suppose we have two services service a and service b and they both want to exchange data so before exchanging the data they require certain kind of a schema which service a and service b both will understand while exchanging the data so there can be multiple formats so like xml json uh, csv so these are the formats which are available in using which they can exchange the data so what is json so json is a javascript object notation it is a lightweight format that is used for data interchanging it is a subset of javascript language and an object is an unordered set of name value pairs or like a key value pairs where key is always going to be a string of a string type where value is going to be of a, uh, any any type like a string uh, or like a boolean and other things so suppose for example uh, we have this uh, object okay so this is how uh, object is represented uh, javascript object okay so in this title is a key channel is a key and subscribe is a key and where we have the value of the different types like uh, how to use json in golang is of string type and subscribe is of uh, boolean type okay now when it comes to how to handle the json in golang we have two ways uh, using which you can handle uh, json in golang suppose when you know the structure of the json so for example in this scenario we know uh, we have the title channel and subscribe fields uh, in a json and we also know the their types okay like the uh, title and channel is of string type and subscribe is of boolean type so in this scenario we know uh, what's the json structure is going to be so for this particular scenario we can define a struct value okay a uh, struct type uh, which we can uh, simply map like okay title field we can map to a title field channel field to channel and subscribe to subscribe and they can be of the respective type like a string string and a boolean okay so suppose uh, the next scenario is like when you don't know the the uh, the resultant json or like when you know like okay what json field going to be so in that scenario we are going to use the map okay so the map is going to be of a string and interface type okay and uh, both these scenario we are going to cover in this tutorial so stay tuned till the end and uh, in the whole tutorial uh, i'm going to add few tips and tricks which can uh, which can help you to work more efficiently with the json uh, in golang okay so with that note let's start let's first start with uh, how to convert a struct to a json okay so suppose we have a struct field uh, struct of type person okay and it has name field age location so let's just first uh, define a person okay of a person type where name going to be suppose practice go okay uh, age going to be like uh, one year and location uh, going to be suppose we have india okay so this is uh, our basic person type we have just initiated okay so now to convert it into a json field so right now it is in the struct so what we first have to do is like we have to use a package called json okay which is inside encoding package okay so this is encoding slash json and under json we have one uh, function called marshall okay so this marshall you can consider it like we are encoding the struct to a json field okay so let's just encode the marshall okay uh, sorry encode the person and it will return two things uh, first is like the bytes and error okay if we just hover on it we can see like it is returning an array of byte and error okay so suppose we'll just handle the error error is not equals to nil and uh, if there is any error we'll just fetter okay and so right now this uh, byte since is it is in the byte format so to printing it uh, let's just use string and we'll just converting it the byte into string okay. so now just use go run min dot go and if you can see it has converted our struct field the person struct into a json field okay so here it is now if you will notice uh, in our type person all our fields name age and location all fields are like of exported types okay our first character is of uh, in capitals so uh, this is the rule like if you want to export any field uh, struct field to json that needs to be uh, of export uh, like it needs to be exported okay so suppose if you just keep it as like a local one 
or uh, so is if this time if we just run go run main dot go if you'll see that location is now uh, not there so this is how it works like if you want uh, certain fields to be like a internal and certain fields to be like external so that time you can simply uh, change their uh, like a public or private kind of thing okay like either you can export it or just don't export it and that field uh, will hide uh, from the response okay so this is how the uh, struct to json works okay now if you are uh, see like okay our struct fields response uh, in the json format is of the same type like the name is in capitals age is in capitals so suppose in the json format we want this name to be like a title okay instead of name field we want like a uh, this field to be of title so for that what we can use uh, we can use the tags uh, in gunai so there is one tag called json okay and so after that we can just tell it like okay this particular name field in which uh, particular json field it has to be mapped so suppose we map it as like a title okay so here you uh, one thing to be note down is like there is no space in any of the things okay so suppose if you add any space that time it can give you certain errors okay so now let's just see uh, if we just run go run main dot go and if you can see now this name field is now changed to title so this is the way uh, using which you can simply uh, map uh, your struct field to json field okay now suppose we don't provide this location field then what will happen and if you can see that time also that location field is coming even if uh, we didn't pass the uh, location field so for that what we can simply do is like uh, i'll just copy paste it like the title uh, let's just rename it to location and then what we can do uh, give is like we just give a comma and use omit empty uh, keyword okay so what this telling is like suppose if the field is empty so that time just omit it so if we just see it now if you can see that field is not coming here okay in the uh, in the above response we can see the location was there but in the uh, other response it is not there okay so sometimes it going to be tiring for you uh, like writing this json tags and everything so for that uh, what we can simply do is like uh, so here the tips and tricks okay uh, you just install this go extension and it do lot of heavy lifting for you okay like uh, all this uh, intellisense and everything okay so in the same way it adds one um, feature to you like suppose you want to add json fields to this particular struct so what you just have to do is like just select it uh, do the right click okay and if you'll find it uh, in the bottom you'll find like okay add tags to struct fields if you'll just add it if you can see it has added the uh, respective tags in it okay name age location and everything so now if you just try so if you can see the fields are here like name age and everything okay so this is how we work when we have to convert the struct field to the json field okay so in the same way suppose if we have a map so that time also it will work in the same way like suppose uh, we have a map of m map string comma interface okay map string interface and we have certain fields like name i suppose hello and field like a location yeah okay so now again we have to use the same thing uh, we'll just uh, marshal it okay and this time we'll just give it the map and let's see the res the output go run main dot go uh, let uh, let me just clear the response and see it has uh, mapped this particular map into the json format 
so this uh, json encoding is used uh, it is doing all the hard work underneath so now in the same way uh, we have one more thing uh, called unmarshal so right now we just covered how to convert a struct field and a map field to the json okay now in the same way we will see how to convert things uh, into the uh, struct field like suppose you have a json response okay so that how to uh, convert it and map it to the struct or the map so you can call this uh, json marshall as a encoding thing okay you are encoding the your uh, struct field or the goof thing into the json and when you are reading the json so that time you can say like okay it is like a decoding it you are unmarshalling the data from the json to your struct field or a map field okay so let's just comment it okay and suppose we have this json let's reuse our response suppose we have a j variable of uh, array of byte okay and uh, it has a json string of name practice go each and we'll just add one more field called suppose location okay and it's going to be india okay and just uh, closing bracket Curly bars. Okay, so this is our JSON. Okay, so now to mount it, so what we can simply do is like suppose we have created a person or person type. Okay, and now we are going to use the JSON dot unmarshal. Okay, so here uh, it takes two things. First is the data in the uh, byte format, and then the another value going to be like in which we want to mount it or like we want to unmarshal it okay so here we are giving the person uh, variable so what you have to do uh, give the byte and then the address of the of your variable okay and it will also give you an error and let's just handle the error not equals to nil log dot pattern error okay and if everything goes well let's just print it this way okay let's just see go run main dot so here we can see is like uh, this name field okay it is kind of mapped to this name so that's why it is coming like that okay and even if we remove this particular field okay and if we just try it you can see it is still mapped it even if uh, that json tag is not there so what is happening is like even uh, you are not giving the mapping of it it is uh, it is kind of capitalizing it like in this way and it just see if there is any field available uh, or like present in that particular map or oh, sorry uh, in the particular struct so now suppose if we just change it to title okay in this way and now if we try to run it so if you can see that uh, practice go that title is not present so in such scenario what we can simply do is like we can have a json tag okay and we can simply tell okay use title like if json uh, field name is title map it to the name field okay so now if we'll see you'll find that practice go is there okay so now suppose you don't know the structure of the receiving json so that time what you can simply do uh, you can simply create a map where m map string interface okay and we'll use the same thing like json dot on marshall okay and here it will come as like map okay in this way and if we just uh, print the all the map fields uh, so you can see all the map fields are uh, now mapped so even now suppose if we just change it to suppose first name in this scenario in this scenario also if you can see uh, instruct it missed that particular field but in map everything is come so you have to make this decision whenever you get uh, like you if you know okay the response which you are getting you know all the struct fields uh, the json field that time you use the structure because it makes your performance uh, your program very fast because it already know uh, use to which particular field and what its type everything i have to map okay 
but in case of map you don't know anything and this interface takes lot of memory okay so these are the few uh, changes you can do to improve the performance of your particular uh, program okay so yeah so these are the things now let's come to the uh, part uh, the tips and tricks so suppose i have uh, okay, let me just rename it suppose name okay and suppose uh, now you have the uh, json structure okay and now for this particular json structure you wanted to uh, create the struct okay so in this scenario we have only three fields but when you will work on a real project there might be like a 50 fields or 100 fields in that particular json so it's not ideal to just uh, uh, manually type it and everything okay so for such scenario what you can do uh, go to the extension and you have one more this amazing extension json to go okay by mario so just install it and after that what will happen is like uh, in the settings okay uh, extension settings there are a few things okay so like uh, these are already uh, enabled okay but suppose this thing okay paste integration prompt for tape type name okay so when it is enabled now suppose if i just paste this particular json here okay in the dot go file it prompt this uh, uh, json to go uh, thing okay and if i just press the enter it has created that particular type with the proper name age location and it's a json tag and it just asks like okay it is auto generated so you can rename it to anything i suppose in this case person y okay in this way so this is one more thing uh, which will help you in your real projects to fasten uh, how to work with the json i hope you like this video and please subscribe and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you